special. Okay. <laughs> energy, energy, energy. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Druid Podcast. I'm Elias. I'm that's, dying. That's M. Blows <laughs> and JP. I'm dying too. I guess I everybody's really dying and getting sick. sick. Sorry, We're all dying. The end of the world. Bird Box is coming true. What? Wait, what? I don't Wait, know. What? Close your eyes. Have you seen Bird Box? Though? Have you seen Bird Box? <laughs> Have you seen Bird Box? Uh, so what do you guys want to start with? Pop culture or gaming? Let's start with pop. Pop. Hot. Pop. pop. We should have a dice. And just... uh. <laughs> pop. My green tea looks like milk. Oh, <laughs> All right. So <laughs> pop culture, Stranger Things season three confirmed Woo! released July fourth. Hey! Uh, it is good. Woo! And they're holding hands in the poster. That's so cute. So yeah, it's what? gonna be uh, let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. Fourth of July like release. Poster. I mean, give me your hand. Hold, hold hands like hey, the poster. Hand. Hold her hand. I'm no. sick. Sorry, She's... I'll put my hands in my pockets. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't know what's happening. You didn't see the poster of Stranger Things? I don't watch Stranger <gasps> Things. <gasps> oh my man, god! Let's cut Quit this what girl you're from doing. The show, man. Quit your job no, and watch Stranger Things. I've already tried watching Stranger Things. You what? I've already tried watching Stranger How Things. How did you try watching Stranger Things? It please. It freaked me out. I watched like. You yeah. got scared? Watch yeah, it with, I got scared. Uh, no, it's not scary. No, I watched it with my friends and I didn't like it. So well, I just left. watch it with Elias. Elias can cuddle. No, Elias sucks when it comes to watching scary stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, wow. you too. Don't talk shit. You're yeah, nah. I don't but like. Scary, so Stranger Things isn't that. Ain't nobody got stuff. time to be cuddling nobody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> watch your shit, girl. I watch mine. Nah, but I'm hyped about it. Uh... <clears throat> I love the act. Some of the best child actors in the industry are in I this agree. show. I agree. I uh, agree. Great some acting. Some of the great writers, uh, the whatever I'm brothers. I'm agree. The, the Dudley brothers. Du- are, are writing okay. this show. Great writing. Oh, wait, wait. Did I say that right? Because the Dudley brothers is in WWE. <laughs> WWF. I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Duffy. The Dudley Duffy. brothers. Duffy. Yeah. Duffy. There you go. Yeah. Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> the Dudley yeah, brothers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bringing that TLC match. Are you guys going to play the game then? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it. I, I, mean, I know if, that not everybody here in this table it, is hyped about it, but I, I, I'm ready for if it. If it's free, you know, I'll, I'll shit, I'll play it. Free? If it's okay, free, not this free. Okay. Um, cheap but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm excited about the <laughs> show. I've been, you know, I, I think that it's a great imaginative, imaginative show. Imagine an innovative. Yeah. Um, Too many I love the Anonymous. 80s you know <laughs> aesthetic of it uh i love all that stuff about it um i can't wait um but so the show ought to be good uh it usually comes out every october but they pushed it back from the october of last year to to july so i mean gotta let it you know you gotta let it, you know. You gotta let it go. Yeah. Let it. It'll be. I, let it. As long as they don't make that stupid ass episode where like she finds her sister or like that pointless ass episode on season two. Um, uh, spoilers. 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 <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch the seasons. Well, don't really uh, you don't remember, do you? I don't, I don't remember watching. that. Too, he honest. finds her sister and like they're like, oh, let's bleed together from my noses, and they oh, bleed I together know. from their noses. And then uh, they leave each other. Okay, this already sounds weird. Yeah, I might have to rewatch. It's a stupid. No, all it, right, it, all right, Punisher. <laughs> so also Netflix announced. Uh, well, they teased uh, season two's trailer Woo! for the Punisher. <laughs> Woo! Uh, so it's funny too because this is supposed to come out on the 18th this month, uh, and, and the memes are already. Well, let's put bets on when it's gonna be canceled. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it, well, come on. People should be smarter than this. Disney's coming out with their own streaming. Fuck service. Disney. It's supposed to be this year, too. Duh. Yeah. So, yes. All Fuck these, like, Disney. You know, Marvel shows you're seeing on Netflix are not going to be on Netflix. Yeah. Just, duh. So, <clears throat> yes, Punisher's going to be canceled. It's Get okay. ready for it. Don't be shy. It's not like it's not going to be there. Yeah, Still I'm not saying that. Mo- but that- we're just going to have to pay for the new Disney streaming Correct. service to watch it. Correct. Well, I mean, I don't know. They're, they're, like Elias said last time in the, in the previous podcast, we they're not going to keep the same actors if they do go down that road of, of showing Daredevil. Or, or, or I mean, they, they want to continue those characters, but I don't know. For sure, they're not going to yeah. keep the same actors. I think actors. they'll be dumb not to because that's the what the people that <clears throat> have are fans already for the Netflix yeah. versions, if you yeah. want them to continue to be fans... If you if you just hire whole new characters or whole new actors, there's nothing linking them to the new uh, versions. There's nothing that's gonna have them come back. Yeah, but mm. there's there's more problems to it than that because uh, with Netflix they were bloody, gory, dark 
take, and it was actually mm-hmm. the most closest take to a Punisher or to uh, to Daredevil. Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Um, that Disney's I, gonna I, make it kid friendly. Who knows? And yeah, fuck well, all that shit up. So I mean, if they're <laughs> smart, they'll keep it, you know, mature. Yeah, uh, rated. I, I, I was they're just dumb, they do. They're gonna yeah, it'll be a fucking. Team but Disney has a history show. of being that dumb, so I mean, <laughs> they have history. So I mean, they I, have history, bro. Yeah, they they haven't been doing a great job. So I mean, look at Star Wars. They kind of fucking killed that whole. Yeah, the whole genre. The last Jedi, except that the best uh, lightsaber scene in all those. Oh my god, dude! All those, whatever movies. I mean, I'm not even excited for the new Star. Like, I don't. It got to the point. Well, I know we're off subject, but it got to the point where I don't even consider those Star Wars movies. Uh, J.J. Abrams will save the series. I really hope so. I mean, I don't think he will. J.J. Abrams. I don't think he will. will. Like, it's just gonna have his his flair and like in as far as like the way the visuals are. But but as far as the story, I think it's already set. Especially since uh, yeah, fucking uh, Ryan Johnson's already working on another trilogy or something. He's already killed everybody else, so so he left J.J. with nothing. So they can't really like change too much. No, but Princess Leia. She died in real life, but she, I mean, either way, let's let's move along. Yeah, she should have died in last Jedi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was the, weird. With this uh, what was it the yeah. Force? The Force <laughs> coming back to life. Like a vampire that no <laughs> one's ever done, but Leia all of a sudden. Yeah, she has hidden uh, yeah. Force powers. But anyway, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Ryan fucking Johnson. So also, uh, it was announced that Pokemon's original mo- first movie is being remade. Using CGI. Oh. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary either. <laughs> I mean, it's it's I the think first. It's a little bit too much. It's the first movie to come out. It's the only Pokemon movie that I went to. You know, I was a kid. I remember yeah, I, I went so. to the I theater. They gave you the, 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 the mute card. Theaters. Yeah, they gave you oh, a yeah, mute card, right. which I still have to this day. Um, which I mean, so it's cool Wait, that nostalgia factor of it that yeah. they're gonna remake. Yeah, the you never got a mute card. When you went to the theater to go watch they it, they gave, gave out card. a mute card when you came in. I made sure to ask. Wow. I, I like, made ask too. Hey, oh, where's the card? Get it, dumbass. No, I went with uh, Joey and Neil. Oh, okay. I, I remember going with. Ruby. I don't remember. I just remember like being in theater in the theater, and a bunch of little kids are all clapping for like different scenes. I'm like. Well, uh, a bunch of little kids. Really? Bitch, you were one of those little kids too, ho. Yeah, but I wasn't clapping. Oh, oh look at you. Oh, no cool no feelings. No feelings. I'm too cool to clap. I mean, I was like 12. No, you weren't. You were 11, bro. Okay, I was 11. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I, 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 that's cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll go pay a ticket to watch it. I'll maybe... I don't know. I'll find uh, another I, means to watch it, but... I, I feel like it's cool. Pokemon is just doing what... I think Pokemon season end coming soon and they're just trying to release everything just to get money before that end comes and then, I mean uh, right now it looks like they're kind of like soft rebooting themselves cause yeah. Yeah. Pokemon Let's Go it's it's Pokemon Yellow uh, the, <laughs> the, the original movie is coming out again in CGI form I guess I mean I think they're ready to have one of their biggest <clears throat> years they're uh the De- Detective Pikachu is coming out. Detective which Pikachu is coming out as I'm well. I'm seeing a lot of people, even adults, are pretty hyped about that. And then they have a, they, you know, they said earlier that their big Pokemon game for the Switch is coming out 2019. Man, I really hope they don't fuck that up. Exactly, because uh, that's one where the hardcore players were like, you know, let's go. That's for like, like noobs. Like that's for yeah. kids that you know they to introduce people. The hardcore yeah. players didn't like that, and you know, but still a lot of people liked it. That's fine. It, I it's mean, an okay. Even game. though they didn't like it, they were still playing it. Exactly. Um, I mean, I I, I say I, I think. What the, the hell is that? Oh my god! Uh, phones. But um, I did. I did. Uh, <laughs> no. Um. I, I think that with uh um these type of games, like, cause you remember that game with uh on Pokemon with on Nintendo sixty four, uh, uh, where you hooked your cartridge up to the the Nintendo controller and you you, play, you could play your Pokemon versus their Pokemon. Uh, stadium. Pokemon Stadium, mm. whatever. Oh, that I'm was fun. And that was pretty good. Um, I like that. <clears throat> I mean, it, I was expecting more. It was just your Pokemon in three D and it was cool. Though. It was cool at the time. It was cool. Yeah, we yeah, never but had I wanted anything more like out of that. It. I wanted like a yeah, story but they didn't or have something. That. Well, they maybe didn't. this no, time around, story, maybe this yeah. time around they'll do that. I would say with with Pokemon, the thing the thing that really affected them is that they kept going over the 150 they start bringing like another 150 and then another so like they have like 400 500 pokemon that are they really there's more than that. a shit ton there's a shit ton like wow. there's yeah so that <laughs> kind of fucks shit up because if you would have just stuck to the they're one, gonna add more this one, this year what yeah, I'm sure. it's a next generation how many generation. more can you keep adding uh, 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 honestly yeah and they want you to catch them all 
<laughs> you gotta catch them all. But well, why? I'm just I'm I'm the classic 150. Well, they, the it. way they're, they're, they do they set it up, it's that you're going to different regions, and those mm-hmm. regions are different Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, they did mm-hmm. confirm that it's an eight gen, eight generation. So that means it's a new, maybe not a new region exactly, but there are going to be new Pokemon introduced. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. But man, twenty like Switch is big right now. A Pokemon game like legit sequel, like full blown, not a let's go. Being released at the end, I fall this year. I, I could, I see nothing but just sales like out the fucking ass. So, um, I don't think they're in a slump or anything. I think on the contrary, this could, if they play their cards right, this could be one of the biggest years for them. But yeah. we'll see. Uh, and then to close it off, uh, the the Houston Rodeo is coming. Oh God! Yeah, they released all the these thoughts. Oh, they released the lineup. All these thoughts about to show up in Houston. And <laughs> a special guest is coming, oh, uh, especially for Los here, Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B. <laughs> uh, you know, the Houston Rodeo knows what they're doing. They know how to sell tickets, what sells tickets, and Cardi B is selling tickets. You know who's not? Nicki Minaj. But Cardi B, now actually, I don't know if that's a true statement. I'll just, I'll just, just talk out. shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Cardi B coming to the Houston Rodeo. Everybody's ready to buy those tickets. Man, and these memes have been hilarious, man. It has. They're like, it get, really your, has. get your pickles, hot Cheetos. Have you seen and, that one meme where it's like, how do you get, um, how many strippers can you, you know those, um, those car salesman memes? It's like you could fit so many strippers in this bad boy, and then it says something about book Cardi B for the Houston Rodeo. Oh nah, my, oh my there was God. one that was like oh, all the all the all the strip clubs are gonna be closed uh, on Cardi B day. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, all the thoughts are gonna be know, out there. Everybody's gonna be at the Cardi B concert. I'm ready. Oh, I- even if I don't manage to get in, I just want to be at the rodeo that day. Just feel the thought. In the air, flowing through. Not breathe in it in, air. breathe Bro, it out. The makeup, the makeup that's gonna be in that fucking stadium. Cause all these thoughts, you know how they put like a shit little fucking makeup on their face. We're gonna see a bunch of like weave on the ground and like Ooh. eyelashes. Did you see everywhere. that meme? Pick up where's the where's weave, like, collect it, everywhere. sell it. <laughs> you, see that, you see that meme where there's those those three uh, fat girls and they're like, this is the type of girls that are gonna be showing up. Oh my god, yes! At, <laughs> at the rodeo and they're yeah, all like caked crazy. up. They're yes, all fat and caked, they're, caked they're, up with their makeup. Outfits are their ridiculous. outfits are like so. Oh my yeah. god! And I mean, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that sounds about right. And like, their oh nails are really long, and like, they have like the little, um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's we, just, we know, we know. They have the Kylie Jenner stuff on or whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, re- you know, Houston's hype for Cardi B coming. Tell us what you know, how hyped you are in yeah, the comments, yeah. and if any performances like you're waiting for as well from the. Well, record. Carl Santana sounds interesting. Oh yeah, he's I think I might go to that one. Oh yeah, that's Sorry, right. Chris Stapleton is me and my one of my me me and my wife's I know. favorite. I, I think. Country's so, trash. Luke! So we're we're really excited that Chris Stapleton is coming. I might have to get tickets for that for sure. And for it's her. funny because like uh, this whole country, uh, this whole country epidemic that happened. Epidemic. I don't know that happened here because I I grew up in Houston <laughs> and that me? shit wasn't what? around. Uh, no one really cared about country. I mean, there were people listening to country, but it wasn't a lot of people that listened to country until recently. It's like become a oh, thing. No, now. people have been listening to country for a while. No, but not a lot. Anyways. Not a lot. <clears throat> um, moving into gaming. Anyways. But yeah, that was a trash bit Nikki segment. Yeah. How uh, was a trash bit Nikki? It was a trash bit Nikki segment. If Nikki trash. Minaj, if Nikki <laughs> Minaj trash. came to the rodeo, it would sell out too. No, it would. And I would go buy tickets but to see her fat ass. Because Houston not, doesn't like her, so she's not coming. I'll see her. Oh my God! Y'all need to shut up. I would go trying to give you more trash bit Nikki. Go see, uh, content I would go see her pedophile. I would go see ready. her pedophile boyfriend suck her toes Shut at the rodeo, up. like he did in that video. So, I go see that. In gaming news, <laughs> new Marvel yo, 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 game being developed by ex Blizzard employees. Um, so basically, I mean, there's nothing heard yet. Like, what's it's not come. confirmed. Well, confirmed. They don't, Blizzard doesn't want to. Talk about it. Well, it's ex Blizzard employees. Ex-Blizzard employees. And, so, and then on top of that, th- these are employees that worked on Hearthstone. So what I'm thinking, it's a card game or something oh. like that. Well, I was gonna say first off, uh, um, Blizzard. Blizzard won't talk about it because they're too busy. But it's uh, not Blizzard. I know. Well, I, well, Blizzard, but I'm trying to make a point. Well, Blizzard won't talk about it because they're busy making mobile games. But um, and that's a and shot you at them. Right? <laughs> you have a cell phone, right? You have a cell phone, right? Stupid asses. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, the, I, I hope it's not a card game. Uh, because the one Marvel game that I was excited for is only going to come out for the Switch, which is fucking stupid. So maybe this one will be a little bit more, since they're ex-Blizzard employees, maybe it'll be more graphic. 
The Matrix. Well, Bioware is, or who's doing that Jedi Fallen Order? Respawn. Respawn. Re- respawn. Okay, so respawn. Timefall guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. good stuff. Um, so you know the graphics are gonna be legit. Uh, the whole game will be legit because Timefall is a really solid game. Um, mm-hmm. but this, uh, these X Blizzard, what's the name of their studio? Do you know? No. Whatever. I um, forgot. Uh, but yeah, they're they kind of they kind of talked about it freeingly. Like it wasn't like a big reveal. It wasn't a, a scoop that a uh, yeah. We're just making a Marvel game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just like yeah. We're we're working on a Marvel game. Uh, da 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 da. So I I think you might be right because it is a former uh lead director from Hearthstone. Watch him bust out with the mobile when he game. left was big news because he's been with Hearthstone for like years, like almost a decade, I believe. Um, so for him to now be with this new studio, and they started up this new studio, and um, I hope it's not a card game. That would suck ass. I wouldn't be surprised to be honest, man. I mean, I think they're trying to put out as many things as they can out there uh, while they can before uh, you know uh, episode nine completely kills the series. Um, Fuck <laughs> shit. Uh, uh, and JJ, I believe. Um, but. Man, that's actually a good observation. Like a canteen, you know, kind of game. That's like stupid, you, though. You go to a canteen and do something like that. I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's move on to the next one. If I can Which I'm, I'm very excited so, about. So Anthem showed off some new gameplay. Yes. Yeah. From their alpha. Oh, yeah. Through IGN. First. IGN, from alpha IGN gameplay. IGN has uh, Anthem, Anthem as their first of the month kind of game. Yeah. Whatever. <clears throat> uh, mm-hmm. And they showed 15 minutes of... Uh, Gameplay. Of the, of gameplay of some uh, three javelins who uh, I think I mean I was telling these guys that they look like they were like higher level uh, javelins as in like late game. Mm-hmm. Well, tell them why because you played the game. I mean, I played the alpha. The pl- yeah, you actually played it um, pre alpha. Yeah, pre pre alpha. Uh, th- you know, thanks to the perks that we get here at Three Way Podcast, <laughs> we get like a oh, lot of like codes <laughs> and offers to do alphas, betas. Uh, and this is another example. And I mean, we I, we could not talk about it uh, at that. Yeah, there was a. a a subpoena. Nah, uh, subpoena. Nah, nah, nah. Those, uh, there are restrictions. <laughs> there are restrictions. I mean, so I'm, uh, I'm still not too like caught up on the restrictions, but basically the the demo they showed on uh, on IGN is actually this pretty much the same thing I played, uh, except on, on the one on IGN looks a little bit more polished. Uh, but like I was saying, the javelins looked a little bit more late game. Because like a lot of the like the move sets and the armor, like it looked shiny. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, looked, like, it looked bad. Shiny. Like, no, it looked, that it doesn't look like, like it was customizable. <laughs> it looked like it was customizable. Big time, big time. Yes, her javelin it is. Colors, yeah, like, and and we were discussing how stuff like that. Yeah, and and we were discussing how it was similar to Destiny, which in a way I get it. It could be. Uh, from mm-hmm. what we saw in the gameplay, especially with the ghost, uh, we were making fun of it, the ghost in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like this one actually looks like it's a story. And the I like the fact that it has melee and you can switch. Because with the Destiny, you can just melee one time. and then Or unless you use your superpower. Like here, it looks like you can actually use melees. I like how they were flying around. It makes the getting to everything a lot easier, in my opinion. Um, yeah, in, in the game, uh, that I played a little bit, there was more to it. Like, there was actually, like, 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 kind of, like, bosses that you had to fight, and there's, like, conditions going on at the same time. But, like, I was telling Am, like, the game really reminds me a lot of, uh, Warframe. And if it's going, if, honestly, if it's going down that path, I kind of think, I, I think this game will succeed. Because Warframe is, like, super popular. It hasn't died. Yeah. It's been out for years. But if this if this can do what Warframe is doing, mm-hmm. but do it better, and do it with, with the backing of, like, EA, like, this should be a success. And this is Bioware's main team working on Did you hear that yeah. they're not going to have any, like, uh, they're going to have, what's it called? Uh, free DLCs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're not going to pay DLCs. I was and like, it's EA though, like that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. They're learning. Yeah. They're Isn't learning their weird? lesson. Gamers, stop buying DLCs. They they said they were going to release free DLCs and they were going to update content monthly. Yes. So yeah. it's going to be fucking free. So when you buy your fucking game, you get the whole fucking game. And the smart thing is to if you do have some kind of paid stuff make it cosmetic yeah only. i'm sure it's gonna be cosmetic. yeah cosmetic only Look, yeah. yeah you can you can buy this thing but it's it's not gonna affect gameplay it doesn't matter if everybody buys it or not it's purely cosmetic make your shit look cool yeah something that rainbow six siege does very well where all the shit on their store is cosmetic shit just yeah, to make your at, operators look cool at this point it's better just to keep uh dlcs or microtransactions 
too cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because well, if you try to like boost your character and like you get to buy a gun and like you're overpowering somebody else, that's completely Yeah. Unfair. Well, I, I, I feel that that would be the best way uh, maybe because I know you, Elias, if the game was good and, 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 and you really liked it, mm -hmm. you would buy cosmetic shit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if if I'm really maybe, invested in a game, maybe a different type of gun, yeah, but it doesn't have to have like yeah, high I, stability in, or in Overwatch. I, I wasted like ten bucks at the most, I think. Oh God, I wasted so much money in Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Because in Overwatch, but in Overwatch though, it's a little bit more uh, like gambling though, because you buy the loot boxes, mm -hmm. and then in the loot boxes, you don't roll. you don't know what you're gonna get. Oh, exactly. I see, I see. Yeah, that's exactly. the only difference. But I would prefer like I can get Knowing, like the yeah. coins to buy the. the, yeah. the it's like, like you know, not like, like Dragon Ball Z where you have to buy your characters and shit. Some bullshit Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. You have, to buy them. you have to buy all of them. You have to buy Blue yeah, Vegito. Sure. You have to buy yeah. all of them. I I, I bought um Goku's dad. I forgot his name. Barda. Barda. I bought him. And the blue Goku, but like, after you can't, like, can't you buy it with in-game currency though? You can, uh, but it takes forever. Uh, yeah, but know. it takes forever. Oh, okay. Um, I don't. I, I from the gameplay that IGN released, mm -hmm. just this one mission, mm -hmm. it looked all right. I'm not gonna get like super hyped and super like. Uh, it looked okay. Now, I, apparently they're gonna. They did say they're gonna release like mid-level missions and high-level. And I don't stuff. think they should. They should just keep it no, the way it is. No, no. Yeah. Dude, this is all they show me. Yeah. I'm not gonna That's buy the game. That's too repetitive. First. That's way too repetitive. Yeah, if, they, if this uh, is all you want to hype that me. game up, though, you want to hype it up. It's been hyped up for a whole year. No, no, no. This, they haven't released a lot of stuff. There's been we some just... trailers. There's been some gameplay. This is the first. This month is the first time we're really gonna see like. Different tiers of that stuff. Cause, cause I, I really didn't want to hear no complaints. Cause y'all motherfuckers play Animal Crossing, the most boring fucking game of all fucking time, and y'all hyped it up way too fucking much. And y'all don't think this is fucking good? Get the fuck out of here. No, if Animal Crossing comes out and all they show me is <gasps> they're releasing Animal Crossing this year, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> see, see how it's yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Hell yeah. It's a Animal boring Crossing. ass. It's a boring ass, a, shitty ass game. Okay, a Grandpa. Thing. Nobody cares. We <laughs> like it. That's Oh it shit! Sucks. This is a new IP animal. that's not proven. Animal Crossing is proven and it sells. Animal um, Crossing is not proven. Anthem is not proven. It's a new IP. So if this is all oh, you're gonna show um, me, they moved. I actually, wouldn't buy it. Actually, uh, in the alpha as well, like uh, when I played it, they actually did have some story beats going on too. Uh, the characters are super likable. Like the characters, oh are, yeah, like, really witty and funny. Their and, like, voice acting, the voice acting is, is super good. Great. Mm -hmm. It is I mean, great. I, 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 the, the when I looked on Twitter and someone went all the way to uh, Europe to play that crap, mm -hmm. and he had reservations, and mm -hmm. he like came out with videos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He said that he stayed there for like four months playing it. Like he said he he loved it. He said he loved it. He couldn't stop playing it. No, yeah, it's it's good. So um, I mean, I, to me, it's like you kind of get man because that's the thing on video games you kind of get the vibe it's very rare like a game like Halo when it first came out mm -hmm. on Xbox like mm -hmm. no one really knew and it was a huge freaking game mm -hmm. like no one but usually with games you you know if it's going to be good or not and this looks like it's going to be a really 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 good game yeah I hope so just but, like Red Dead Redemption 2 uh that's yeah, okay uh <laughs> maybe uh, yeah, you also um slightly mad studios the guys who make Project Cars, Project Cars 2, and I forgot what other game they made. Yeah, they made some other... Isn't that mobile stuff. games? No, no free, it's not. The first one was they're, free to play. They're like free games. And then the second one they actually have to pay for. But these guys are developers. They make games. They decided to make a console. Uh, they're calling it the Madbox. Uh, I'll have pictures up right now. It looks... Like an yeah, it looks. It looks like a it PC. Looks weird. Tacky. Uh, yeah, that's what I was telling Adam. I'm it like, this is tacky. basically a PC, but they're saying that mm -hmm. they didn't want to do what what Steam was trying to do, or who was the other person trying? Uh, the other company trying to do like kind of like a PC crossover to a console thing. Uh, uh, the Ouya, no, not probably the Ouya. probably probably Alienware or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did. Alienware did um, like a console that was a PC, but yeah. you can also. But to to be honest, mm -hmm. I hope. In, in a small part of me hopes that it works out because but they need to make it, it, look it opens avenues yeah. as to different type of games, different type of platforms, different ideas. Mm -hmm. Instead of just having it... Xbox and PlayStation mm -hmm. and Nintendo, uh, even though Nintendo's not really up there with, 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 with like as far as like the systems go, um, you know, I feel like, man, it'll be a, a, a fresh breath of air with different content, different type of styling. I mean, it looks like 
It looks really weird. It looks like an M, like an like an old. M. I think that's gonna change though. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Cause yeah, they, they be... should change it because it doesn't it, look. But I like the lights. I like the lights around it. If they're yeah, trying to if they're trying to sell it as a home console, you gotta make it smaller. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you can't have it that bulky. And I'm sure they'll get to it. But that's what. Then you don't why... know how big it is, j- judging from the rendered photos. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, yeah, but it, standing up like a tower, and it, and it looks like an M. Like it's kind of like. The M alone, it's like taking up the space. And then you have your tower goes, in the center. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, it looks big. Like, a little bit bigger than the Xbox original one. Uh, Xbox yeah. One. But um, I mean, uh, so, you know, I, I'm excited for another uh, console? console to join. Because yeah. it does competitive, you know, competition only does and it makes good everybody the industry. Better. Mm-hmm. Correct. Um, just like the Switch has, you know, selling 2.5 million consoles over the holidays. More than both the other uh, console makers combined. But, um... Well, yeah, they had all those games coming out. Yeah, I know, they, they had did. Bundles yeah. for the games. So, you know, right now, Switch is killing it. So, and that first competition and has to make PlayStation and Xbox, you know, think twice about their stuff and have to compete and not just think that they're the only monopoly uh, in the industry. So, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about the Madbox. I mean, will I buy it? I don't know. And they're, they're, <laughs> called, they're saying it's three years out. Yeah. The, yeah, like the specs they're putting out there right now are the would be the. But we don't know what the ps5 looks like we don't know what, what the, the next the xbox, xbox looks, looks like we don't know the price points yet it, it, exactly. exactly so this yeah gonna be but i mean these they're are only they're these are only rendered photos but, but that's again, all they've re- revealed but so. then again like I, i've heard like uh, we're trying to be competitive in terms of pricing and I think it was like the the Oculus when it first came out. It was super. Expensive. Oh my god, that was so expensive. And then the Vive, super expensive. And like these guys are trying to be competitive with uh, the PlayStation VR because the PlayStation VR you play it at home with your PlayStation. It's not. It's under those prices. I mean, they say they're gonna try to be competitive with everything they're adding in that system. I doubt they'll be competitive. I think yeah. I think it'll be overpriced, and I think it's because they're taking too long. They announced it too early. And then, like, when it comes out, it's going to be too much of a system. Yeah, and I think you that's think the problem, so? too. Mm-hmm. Because I, what, I think what ends up happening is the market is more saturated to Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo. So if a new console comes out, people are going to have, like, trepidation to, like, even buying that console because they want to know if it's even good. Now, or if it, it, now the <laughs> other thing, too, is that this they're developers as well. So you you probably have it in mind as well that they're gonna be making a uh, console like, seller game. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's true. So sure. they're working it's their ass console off. Console exclusives. To that's sell. what I'm saying. I love that because man, if if a company has a great game, because there's there've been instances where a company has a great game and they go to PlayStation, PlayStation doesn't want it, and mm-hmm. then they go to Xbox and Xbox takes it and it's a hit, or 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 vice versa. Mm-hmm. Um, now there'll be more opportunities for other developers to make games, but games that we probably never heard of or haven't even been created yet. And they can come on that system, and boom, you got like an amazing, like Halo. You have an amazing game for for a brand new system. So hopefully that works out. I like competition. Mm-hmm. I don't just like a monopoly of one or the other. Hey, man, the more options we have, the better. Oh. Hey everyone, we're back from commercial breaks. Sponsors. I no commercial or sponsors. Anchor. And it is a sponsor. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going into sports now. Uh, Q sound effects. <sighs> It's a touchdown! Goal! It's a home run! Oh, God. All right. Let's so, uh, the NFL season ended. The regular season. The regular season. And right after that, Black Monday. Ooh! What's that? That means coaches get fired and lose their motherfucking jobs <laughs> for being Why? shitty-ass fucking coaches. Does this always happen? Every year for shitty coaches. Yeah, like if you're a good coach, you don't gotta worry about it. Look at Bill Belichick. He mean, he mean. Does um? <laughs> Wait, so are they just the... gone forever? Huh? They're just uh, gone forever. They, 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 just, they just get, get reshuffled fucked. to another team. Another team. Another, another team where they go to college, where like everybody thinks college is great, but it's really trash. Like they go to a college. Do you team. watch college football? No, it's no, boring. There's no defense. That's why we never talk about it. We never it. talk about it. We never, we never watch it. We never bring it. Like it's like going football. on right now. It's, it's like, literally going on. We don't talk about college. Oh, aren't there like championships games? Like, I, I, I mean, hey, know. if you want to talk about college, you, you certainly can. I mean, I don't no, I, I don't, I don't really watch, watch it. it. I mean, when I do watch it, I like it. I like it better it's like than no, the NFL. There's no defense. Uh, no one plays. Uh, they don't know how to blitz. They don't know how to do special coverages. They leave receivers wide open, running backs wide open. Uh, um, anyways, uh, <laughs> does Marvin Lewis still have a job? No, oh. he's out. <laughs> hey, you know what? Marvin Lewis should have been gone. <laughs> <laughs> and we whooped his sorry ass. <laughs> we whooped his sorry ass. Hey, 
blowed to sorry ass twice in the playoffs. Look, man, Marvin Lewis should have been gone a long time ago. I'm not saying he's a bad coach. He's not. He's better off as he's a, a shitty person. As Almost a, as shitty as Nicki Minaj. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I, I would say he's like a good offensive <laughs> offensive coordinator, maybe defensive coordinator. He was a defensive coordinator with Baltimore Ravens when they won the Super Bowl. Sure. So, you know, a, a coordinator is, is where he needs to be. Uh, head coach, meh. But then again, Cincinnati. Wasn't he a head coach for like 16 years or something? Yeah, because Cincinnati was like it's fucking cheap as fuck and they didn't want to give him pay nobody shit. No. Oh. Marvin Lewis, out of the job. My dreams have come true. 2019 Why? is Why did you hang with Marvin Lewis? Because he's a trash-ass coach. Uh, well. I'd rather prefer him on the other team than my team. I, I don't want Marvin Lewis on my squad. I wouldn't either. I mean, look, he brought us great, great, great players. He cool. brought us uh, Ocho Cinco. He brought us uh, Carson Palmer. He brought us T.O. in Cincinnati. Uh, that whole drama uh, with uh, Avante Burf, Burfett, Burf, 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 whatever his name is, Burfett, Burf, 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 whatever Burf, the damn Burf, name is. Burf. I mean, he brought <laughs> Pac Man Jones <laughs> back. He basically Burf. put the staples. I don't give a fuck if players yeah, beat the crap out of their shit. girlfriends. All this? those great players, and he what couldn't there, win who, shit who with the star receiver. Uh, Chad Ochocinco. No. Oh, TJ Huzmanzada. Whoever. Who was the more recent one? I forgot. Oh, AJ Green. AJ Green. He just wasted that dude's career. In Cincinnati. I mean, look, man. Uh, it was about time. Work hard, Cincinnati. I hope y'all get a good, good job. Enjoy. About time. About time. Uh, who else? Who else got fired? Who else got fired? Shit, I don't know. McCarthy. Yay! Well, McCarthy didn't get fired on Monday. <laughs> Still. Yay! No, McCarthy should have kept his damn job. Hell no, nah, he trash. That's a dumbass decision by the Green Bay Packers. Nah, I'll that, be hard. That's trash. I'll, they'll be hard set to find another. A uh, coach of his caliber. Of oh, his caliber? Correct. With another team, he went 5-4. and four. Hey, Get man. the fuck out of here. That's a winning record right there. That's a winning record. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want that so one. So, I don't, I don't know, man. They, they'll be hard set to find nah. another coach of his caliber. Uh, I'm, I assure you, the wow. coach they get. Listen to what he's saying. This is how stupid Lotus. I assure you, the coach another, they're getting. Another coach of his caliber. Uh, uh, now, he, they got the fucking Aaron Rodgers. You don't think of any yeah, coach. Yeah, and that's it. And that's all the coach needs. No, that, that's, that's all you need is a quarterback. Oh, no. And he won with it with, with won a Super Bowl with Aaron. I Rodgers. guarantee. And they had no business. I guarantee. Right. And I hope Elias puts right. it. Right. I. What? We have to pause. Uh, I'm seeing the little red blinking thing for the battery. <laughs> oh well, hold on. I guarantee that the Green Bay Packers will make it to the playoffs next year with their brand new coach because of Aaron Rodgers and the change yeah, in the so system. The team that he. I coached. guarantee it. All right, Shut up. hold on. My oh, bad. Uh, so, is there anyone else you want to make fun of for Black Monday? <laughs> oh, for Black Monday? Uh, well, I mean, I wish. I was making fun of Bill O'Brien because he's a shitty ass coach, but he's in the playoffs. He's in the playoffs. Yeah, fuck that asshole. He's gonna win the Super Bowl. Uh, this year. Bro, fuck you. Uh, They're gonna no, the if they if if they want a Super Bowl with Bill O'Brien, go I'll shut the, the fuck Patriots. up. Because mm. I hate Bill O'Brien. Mm. I hate Bill O'Brien with a passion. And then like we have play against New Orleans, we have to keep Bill O'Brien. And then like we him. have no choice. It's like Cowboys now; they can't get rid of Jason Garrett. They have to keep Jason Garrett. He took him to the playoffs. Nah, that's that's Jerry nah. Jones' boy. Like, that's his, keep Jason yeah, Garrett. That's, that's like his son. Yeah, that's Jerry Jones is like, we're gonna run this play, and he has his puppet. What is that? Star Fox. Star Fox. Is that, what, what are you doing? Okay, well, let's get back to the topic. Let's, let's go back to the topic. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Uh, so, also in sports, Antonio Brown. Ah, uh, diva. Diva, wide receiver for the Pittsburgh, well, currently for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Currently. Might currently. change. Hopefully, soon. So, apparently, there's rumors that him and Ben Roethlisberger were, <laughs> were getting into it. I thought you were going to say Rapeless Burger. Uh, that, too. <laughs> Rapeless <laughs> Burger? Yeah. He, allegedly. 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 Oh. allegedly. Oh. And, uh, they yeah. settled out of court. Yeah, he settled out of court, you know. There you go, bitch. Mm. Allegedly. Some money. Uh, allegedly. So, anyways, uh, so they were getting into an argument or something, and that he threw something at him or something? Okay. So, essentially, they were in practice, right? Mm-hmm. And I guess Antonio Brown... Because the week before, the week before, the, okay, let's just go, let's just be honest. Juju Smith-Schuster is turning out to be a number one wide receiver. Juju. Antonio Brown is a, a number one wide receiver, but Juju. he's getting jealous because of all the noir, 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 notoriety that Juju is receiving, all these all right. accolades and stuff. So Antonio Brown's pissed. So the next week, right before they face um, the, the last game um, against Cincinnati, mm-hmm. uh, Ben Roethlisberger keeps running the same the same play. To Juju? Uh, to the same, the same practice. I'm not sure to Juju or to Antonio. 
But wow. Antonio Brown got mad because they kept running the same shit, <laughs> and he was like, <clears throat> "Yeah, I don't know who names their kid Juju, but they named <laughs> him Juju." Juju. I would name my dog Juju. Juju. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's <laughs> a good name for a dog. Juju. Damn. Hey Juju, you, no you see what she's saying? You see what she's saying? Um, I don't like know Juju. who the fuck Juju is, so he, I don't care. He plays a lot of Fortnite. He's cool. Yeah, he's he is cool. So uh, when you play Fortnite, that makes you cool mm-hmm. yes, automatically. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you, Ninja. But uh, apparently, uh, Antonio Brown got mad and he didn't. Sh- he stopped showing up for practice, mm-hmm. and then he tried to show up on Sunday. Like, oh no, I'm good. And the coach is like, nah, nah, you ain't good. You you ain't playing. So he benched him. So next thing you know, that's why they're not in the playoffs. That's nah, mm. it's just a lot of drama since the very beginning. I mean, they still have issues with their running back too. Le'Veon Bell, but Le'Veon Bell's gone. Yeah. Like they have no choice. Like he's a free agent. Next yeah, year. he's it's a over. free agent. He's out, and, and he's healthy. Good job, mm. good job, Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he. Uh, it's he unprecedented didn't, he didn't, because he didn't make any money. This he year, didn't make right? any money. He basically he gave up. Money. No, he gave up eighteen million. He, he made. He gave money. up eighteen he million show up to not play. He doesn't get paid. He, he doesn't get paid. Money. That's true. But hey, he's healthy Look, and, he, he, and he's gonna get a big, huge ass contract. They yeah. didn't want to give him the the yeah, long they contract. Want they wanted to give him a one year shit. If the motherfucker franchise tender. Injured, he's fucked, right? Yeah. Uh, mother, ain't nobody gonna pay for an injured motherfucker. Case in point, Earl Thomas. Exactly. One year tag. Injured, now he's fucked. He has to heal up, won't be back till midseason next year. And who the fuck wants a guy who hasn't been training? Yeah. Hasn't been, so that's why he was, Le- that's why he was giving Bell. the fuck you sign to all Exactly. He flicked everybody out. Good job, Levy on Bell. You did the right thing. <laughs> no, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like this is unprecedented, but this might be the new trend because because of what Le'Veon Bell done. But back to Antonio uh, Brown. It should. So it should be there, because I mean a lot of the like the contracts and stuff, it always goes towards the team and not the player. Yeah, not the players. So this this could change it. But and he worked hard for them. He he made he, he he put up stats for that team for that for that organization yeah. and that's how they wanted to. Well, uh, going They're back to Antonio Brown, Antonio They're Brown, the <laughs> they they paid Antonio Brown a lot of money. They paid Antonio Brown a lot of money. They did, and he turns out to be a cancer because he doesn't care about his team he's doing Facebook lives uh, um, when they're done beating the game he's over here being on Twitter more focused on his brand and the thing is ex-players have come out and said that now they had a press conference mm-hmm. with, with uh, Mike Tomlin Mike right Tomlin. Mm-hmm. and so Mike Tomlin is talking here like you can't do that to us not when we need you in the hour of need and you're over here bullshitting yeah. this fool is with um uh, James Harrison James Harrison which we know doesn't like Mike Tomlin they had like a, a bit of a breakup he doesn't really respect Mike Tomlin he thinks he's too player friendly he's come out uh, and said it several times uh-huh. so this fool Antonio Brown is with uh, uh, James Harrison and they're over here like making fun of the coach while the coach is giving this press conference yeah, like, are you uh, fucking uh, kidding me, bro? Well, he signed yeah. as of right now. Someone would have to be willing to trade for him. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to give up a the first Jets? round pick? Honestly, at this point, the Jets sit his ass down. No, I'm you can't do that. You can't do. Don't you're paying. Down. You're paying him twenty one million next okay. year. You can't do that. Hey, just like just like Le'Veon was sending a message to the team. The team can send a message to the players. Yeah, but they're not gonna do it at yeah, this but point. Because they're, well, they're wasting money. Why not trade them? The Jets need a, a, hey, a wide save, receiver. They save money for Le'Veon, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Man, it, it doesn't work like that. If the play, if the player's the one who's no, not showing up, that they're gonna that. have to pay him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have that. to. They have to pay him. But Regardless. still, you gotta, oh, you mean they saved on Levy on yeah, use that money towards yeah, exactly. fucking over Antonio? No, send it to right? a shitty team like uh, San Antonio did with Kawhi. No, oh. that's what I'm saying. The Jets send it to Canada. No, no, no. Nah, there's the no, let's, let's be fair. Send it to the CFL. No, because you're being wow. a dick. Antonio Brown is one of the top three receivers in the NFL. Guaranteed. All right, yeah. all right. The number one we all know, uh, DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins. Give no, him. it's uh, that guy from uh, <clears throat> no. Saints. The Falcons. Uh, Julio, oh, uh, Julio Jones. No, no, no. Nah, he has with, some more receivers. With Matt Ryan, he can't. Yeah, but even, he didn't do shit. He didn't do crap. He, he can't even score touchdowns. Yeah, DeAndre had the better year. And DeAndre has had the most. DeAndre has had the most stats. He has more receiving. Nah, I'm sorry. DeAndre is number one. Bro, you're gonna be like. Stats. Everyone has we'll universally agree agreed. We'll agree to disagree. We'll agree to disagree. But the number one is DeAndre Hopkins. The second one is Julio Jones. And number three, I will put... How about you put Julio I, I will put Julio Jones second. And then Antonio Brown number third. Julio Jones. <clears throat> uh, um, he can go... Uh, my way of thinking is, you can send him to the Jets. The Jets are a shitty-ass organization. But they have a first-round pick. Why don't you trade a first and second round pick and a, and a first round pick for next year? Like they did yeah, with the Sean Yeah, because teams know that if they... Teams know that if, I mean, a smart team will know, okay, this team is really having a lot of trouble with this player. Why pull the trigger right now and give up our first round and our second round when if we wait long enough, this team's going to give him up for 
almost nothing because mm-hmm. come season, closer to yeah. the season, You're right. you they're going to be pressured to get rid of this player. And, you know, they're going to take whatever they can take. Oh, no, but, what, okay, the Jets, what's their main need? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have a quarterback. What's their main need? Because they have a decent defense. O-line. Oh, no, they have a good O-line. O-line. What's, what's their main What was their <laughs> big mis- Running back. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wide receiver. Running it was wide receiver. Out. You guys are running it was out of receiver. positions. So if they, need, if, they need wide, if they need a wide receiver, would they keep... Or a returner. <laughs> because, <laughs> I mean, listen, listen. You just named everything. <laughs> the Bills. You don't think the Bills will want to trade for Antonio Brown? They have a, a, a Josh... Uh, what's that? Uh, jo- what's his name? Josh uh, Rosen? As, as their... Is it Josh Rosen? No. Yeah, I don't know what sure. that the is. quarterback for yeah, uh, the yeah, Bills, the new one, the rookie. Player. They need one. Uh, I mean, there's teams that can trade because a wide receiver in the first round is not a guarantee. I, I get what you're saying. Des Bryant, case in point. Des Bryant's a, a, a good wide receiver. He was a crappy wide receiver. No, he dropped. He was trash from the very beginning. He was a good wide no hands, Des. No hands, Des. There you go. No hands, Des. Come on, man. <laughs> um, so it's not a guarantee, but Antonio Brown is a guarantee. So I'd rather waste a first round pick on something I know is going to be a hit than something that's yeah, not. Yeah, but as you can see right now I mean, in his contract, right, right he's now it's starting like, shit. It's basically history repeating itself with all the DV receivers like T.O. Yeah. But you don't think Oakland having three first round picks, you don't think they can trade for that shit? Maybe. Antonio Brown I mean, with David Carr? Maybe. I mean, we'll uh, see. We'll see it's not happens. David Carr. What's his name? It's, uh, Derek. Derek. The fu- season's not over yet. I'm not ready to. I, I, all I got to say is any team will be smart enough to use a first and second round pick if they need a wide receiver. You're giving up your Because whole Antonio Brown is 28 fucking years old. He's 28. Head. He's still in his prime. Yeah, and he causes problems. Yeah. T.O. causes problems, but he still went to the t- fucking uh, Super Bowl. What you the need fuck to are you stop about? yelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate it when people bring stupid. Okay, you look. Still I still are yelling. I, I understand that there's divas. S- stop I under- yelling. I understand that there's divas. I understand. That wide receivers, like 10 other players, got to do their job for them to get the ball. But it's very rare to find a Hall of Fame wide receiver. Antonio Brown, is, uh, Antonio Brown sorry first to say, first and folks, a second round pick. He's up. a Hall of Fame wide receiver. Okay? Maybe a first and a fifth. It's simple as that. First and a fifth. <laughs> first and a fifth and a seventh. Oh and yeah. no second, first and second. Come on, man. Antonio Brown's legit. Uh, either way, if he leaves to the Steelers, it's good for the Steelers because they get rid of that locker room drama. And Ben Roethlisberger needs to get, re- get rid of too because he, he has brought so much problems and he, he's not a good leader. Uh, and after the two Super Bowls with Bill Cowher's team, he hasn't really much done shit. He I really mean, hasn't. Didn't he win one with Mike Tomlin too? Yeah, but it was with Bill Cowher's team. It was. Right. A, it was like both of them are Mike Tomlin. Yeah, but Mike Tomlin was with with the Steelers before. He was like offensive coordinator or something. Oh, sure, sure. So I mean, either way, like he hasn't really done much. Uh, I'm going for the Browns next much. year. I'm going for the Browns next year. For, I'm going for the Browns. Yeah. I hope the we Browns. The Bowl, hey, enough. the Browns can also trade for Antonio Brown. They have enough wide receivers, and they they got Dez under. Name their wide receivers. Um, what's his name? The Miami guy who came from the Landry. Guy came, yeah, Landry. Landry legit. really can't, doesn't have no speed. The guy is one of the best wide receivers in the. Uh, game. I wouldn't. I top wouldn't. Put, I wouldn't. Sure. Uh, maybe top ten easy. Maybe ten. You know, it's funny too because I was watching a YouTube video about the Browns and how they like they've been sucking. And how that one year when they had Derek Anderson, like they actually did good. Yeah. And then they were supposed to look. It was looking like they were going to go up because they went to the playoffs. Yeah, went to the playoffs that year. I remember. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's a that's a year team. that like two years later we got Brian Hoyer. <laughs> from... Isn't that isn't that your defensive coordinator, the Who? coach, Romeo Cornell? Yeah, <clears throat> wasn't he uh, the coach for the Browns at that time? Yes, he was. He was uh, the the head coach, Damn. but they got rid of him because. What ended up happening was that Brian Hoyer got injured and they started Derek Anderson and Derek Anderson mm-hmm. took him to the playoffs. But Derek Anderson got injured too. No, it was Derek Anderson, some other quarterback. I forget his name. No, he it was traded. it was Brian Hoyer and no, Derek because Brian, Brian Hoyer beat the Patriots. No, it was, uh, it was, Notre Dame kid. It was another Brady guy. Quinn. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it wasn't Brady Quinn. No, Brady Quinn was just drafted. Brady yeah. Quinn was trash. Man. Yeah, he another was trash. another. Hey, case. but he beat the Steelers though. He, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> you know who beat the Steelers? Tim Tebow beat the Steelers. Hey, one of the greatest. One, one of the time. greatest. Quarterbacks, yeah. John Shun. If it wasn't Never. for fucking, uh, all he did was win, 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 win. <laughs> no, if it wasn't for John, if it wasn't for John Elway, that motherfucker would still be there. John, John Elway is a fucking uh, dumbass. No, nah, John was smart. He was like, man, fuck. He Tim just Tebow. had the best get, season. There's a beat him in the same system, and he, he'll make plays for you the next year. He didn't, he didn't want to build around Tim Tebow. Yeah, I mean, think how genius this was. He was like, if I remove Tim Tebow, he's a fan favorite. If I remove Tim Tebow, I have to replace him with someone who's. Le- Better or legitter than this fool? Legitter. Legitter. I just came up with that shit. Legitter. 
Legitter, bro. Well, he's never even paying And Manning. he brought in Peyton fucking Manning. And they he's won a the championship. But because of the defense. And they went to, they like. They could have won with Team Tebow on that squad. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Team, team, team Tebow? Team, team Tebow. Yeah, team, yeah, Tebow. Yeah, team, Tebow. team Tebow. Team Tebow. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're going to be uh, video streaming live. Um, video streaming live. Video streaming live. Whatever the fuck we're that shit is. We're doing a live stream. A live stream, whatever. <laughs> um, right after the playoffs on Sunday. Uh, this is coming on Monday. Which is going to come so out Monday. So you can catch the VOD on Tuesday on our YouTube channel, the Three Way Podcast. Yay! Unless you uh, follow us on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. playoffs and reviews. Slash the Three Way Podcast. Twitch. Yes, exactly. We're still working out the kinks on that, so bear with no, us. There's no kinks to um, work out. Sorry. Uh, three Way Podcast <laughs> can show. Uh, we do it Sunday nights live. It's on uh, YouTube on Tuesday. So just either follow us on Twitch if you want to see it right away after the games. Or catch it on Tuesday on uh, YouTube so yes. you can see our reactions, yes. uh, our analysis of the playoff And games. today's a big day. Uh, we My team goes against the Colts. Uh, very first game at, at 3. Today is Saturday. 3.30 p.m. January. Central time. 4? 5. 5. <clears throat> So yeah. it's Saturday. So well, it's, it's, it's going to be close. Days. And not only do they play, uh, the Cowboys play um, Fox. Seahawks. Correct. Seahawks. Oh, it's the Seahawks. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. Seahawks? You know, Seahawks. my favorite my favorite thing was, I was watching yeah. ESPN with Stephen A. Smith, oh. and he came out with the Ginger. with the picture where Tony Romo pulled the kick. And he was like, y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? And I was like, I remember that. Yes, sir. I remember oh, that. All right. God. Let's... Uh, Close it up. Wrap it up. Yeah, wrap Can it up. Can I do it since I didn't get to talk for the last yeah, 30 sure, minutes? Sure. <laughs> what? My sports. Well, I can't. No, I don't have time for that. Oh, by the way, before we go, uh, <laughs> the Rockets versus Golden State. What a fucking game. James oh. Harden yeah, show. MVP. Hey. James Harden show why he's the MVP. And I don't know why that doesn't appear in the playoffs. It always just appears in the playoffs. But in the regular season, he's freaking amazing. He's yeah, really exactly. Amazing. We need him to do it in the playoffs. Because he does it all season. That's all great and dandy well, and yeah, winning but, an MVP award. But fucking do it in the playoffs when you don't have CP. And when he got up and started talking shit to Draymond Green, I was like, yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking, Motherfucker. fucking donkey from Shrek. Yeah, Apparently motherfucker is a forbidden <laughs> term nowadays in the United States. <laughs> yeah. His, <laughs> his smile looks just like the donkey from Shrek. Legit. Have y'all not noticed that? No. But yeah, we I might have to, have to cut that out. <laughs> you were trapped perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, all right. That's going to do it for the three of show. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm M. This is Elias. That's Los. And that's JP. Don't forget to follow us. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell if you want to get notifications. Follow us on everything. We're the Three Way Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, and Twitch. Instagram, too. What the hell? What is happening? What are you guys doing? I don't know. <laughs> This is getting All right, cool, yeah. Right, Bye-bye. Oh, dude, that's so nice. Why would I want that, though?